The Medrash tells a beautiful story that happened in the city of Sipori with a peddler and a great sage, Rabbi Yanai. It's actually very appropriate for this week because this week's double portion, Tazriya Mitzorah, speaks about the evils that befall a person who gossips and who, is, who doesn't care about uh, uh, how he uses the gift of speech and speaks negatively about people. So the peddler was going around in the streets of Tsipori and he was saying, who wants the potion for life? In other words, he's selling a potion. Who wants the potion for life? And Rabbi Yanai hears him and he goes over to him and says, oh, okay, I'd like to buy it. What is it? And the peddler says, look, I, I, I don't know if you need it. I don't think you need it. No, no. I want the potion for life. And the peddler quotes a verse in Psalms. Who is the person who wants life? Who loves days? Who wants to see good? Guard your tongue from speaking evil. Your lips from speaking bad. Rabbi Yanai heard this is the potion for life. Guard your tongue for, from speaking evil. Rabbi Yanai says, you know, I've studied Psalms all my life, and I never really realized what this verse is teaching. Thank you, dear peddler. Thank you for enlightening me. And the many of the great commentaries ask a question, what did Rabbi Yanai learn from the peddler that he did not know before? And the Kochav Miyakov, which I believe is the rabbi of Chabin, he explains that Rabbi Yanai learned the verse, who is the person who wants life, and he always understood that, yeah, you want life, meaning you want life in eternity. You want life in the world to come. You want to be blessed in the world to come. Uh, yeah, be careful how you speak. But the peddler who was selling a potion for long life, he was using this verse. And Rabbi Yanai realized that it's not only <laughs> the life in the world to come that is enhanced when you guard your tongue from speaking evil. But this life, you live a better life. You live a good life. You live a happier life. Don't speak slander. Of course, don't be slander because you're going to hurt the next person. Who knows what kind of damage you're going to cause? Rabbi Yanai learned that who knows what kind of damage you're going to cause to yourself when you speak evil because you feel badly inside when you speak negatively about another person. You might think you're feeling good, but really inside it hurts. And when you look down at other people and spend, when a person spends his time or her time thinking about the errors and mistakes of another person, it takes away from our own health. It takes away literally from our longevity. So that's what Rabbi Yanai learned. Guard your tongue from speaking evil. This is what he learned from the peddler. Take the potion for life. Look positively at the next person. Guard your tongue, because whenever that tongue, whenever the lips speak evil, it makes us, it hurts us inside. It hurts not just our soul, but our body. Wishing everyone a fabulous, beautiful Shabbos. Of course, a Shabbos that will lead us and help lead us to eternity, life in the world to come. A Shabbos where we can enjoy this world by observing Shabbos and by being very careful about how we speak about the next person and even how we think about the next person. L'chaim, to good health.